In this video, we'll look at creating and reusing graph templates in Origin. Let me start with a simple example. I have a two-column worksheet here, and I'm selecting column Y. On the Plot menu, under Basic 2D, I'll create a line and symbol plot. Note that Origin ships with many different graph templates. Every graph in Origin begins with a template. All the templates you find under the Plot menu are pre-shipped, built-in templates. Here is a simple graph. I'll proceed to make some customizations. I'll turn on anti-aliasing to make the line smooth. I'll edit the symbol size and color. And I'll select the layer to add a fill color. I'll click on the text to change the font. Once I have my settings selected, I can use the mini toolbar to apply the font selection to all labels on the graph. I'll adjust the legend and turn on the layer frame. And now I have a graph that is modified. So how do I use these settings for future similar data sets? I'll right click on the title and choose Save Template As. Origin picks up the name of the built-in template, but we recommend that you give it a different name. Click OK to save. Now when you have another similar data set under the plot menu, you'll see your template under the My Templates section. If I click on it, it will create a graph with the same exact custom settings that I used. So this is the basic idea of working with graph templates. Now let's look at a more advanced example. Here I have a worksheet with multiple sets of data, and they all have the same structure. Same columns with same column names. And from one of those sheets, I have created a complex graph with multiple layers, where different quantities have been plotted as scatter and violin plots, etc. So how do I save this as a template and reuse it with similar data? I'll right-click and choose Save Template As, then give it a name such as Automobile Multipanel. You can enter a description here if you'd like. The key is to make sure the Mark as Clonable Template box is checked in this dialog. What this does is Origin will look at the new sheet and try to match the template with the sheet to see if the data is compatible and in the same format. You can choose to use the Match Plot Columns by Index, Short Name, or Long Name. I'll use the default Long Name and click OK. Now if I go to a sheet with similar data, I can go to the Plot menu, and this time I'll open the Template Library. It will also show under My Templates. But in the Template Library, you can look at User Templates, System Templates, Extended Templates, etc. We'll talk about Extended Templates in a minute. There are all my user templates, but I can click on this Clonable Templates Filter button and reduce my templates to only the one that matches my current data, which is the one that we just saved. So you can see there is an icon here showing that it is a clonable template, and I can select this and simply click Plot. And now I get a graph with the data based from this new sheet, which has the same format. Finally, let's take a look at the Template Center in Origin. There's a separate video on this if you're interested in seeing this in more detail. So under the Tools menu, there is a Template Center entry. The idea being that we have put many templates on our web server so that you can download only the ones you want, rather than adding more and more built-in templates. You can easily search, for example, I can search for templates for grouped data, with a keyword group, and if I see a template that I like, I click to download it to my current collection. 
once downloaded under the plot menu template library you can turn on extended if you wish you can turn off user note that we can also list all the system templates so here are the two templates that we just downloaded if I hover over them it'll show me the information about the template what type of data is expected etc and if I'd like to see a sample I can click that row and choose open sample then the sample project will be opened and in the sample project you can take a look at the data configuration and how this graph was created then you can work with your data to create a similar graph we hope this video was helpful thank you for watching